Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight we're going for a beer from uh, Southwold in Suffolk. It is from Adnams and it's this one. It is Lighthouse. And Lighthouse is described as being a light golden beer. And it is light, it only weighs in at 3.4% ABV. Uh, you've got some nice kind of lighthouse on there. Not entirely unexpected given the name. And it says, Adnams Lighthouse is inspired by our champion pale ale. A beer that won many awards from 1922 to 1980. So it's got a bit of uh, pedigree going on there. Uh, with an ABV of 3.4%, this classic amber beer delivers a crisp, refreshing taste with a light fragrance, lovely malt flavours and a long, hoppy after palate. And that sounds nice to me. I like malt flavours and I do love lots and lots of hops, particularly on the finish where you can just enjoy them and savour the flavour for a little bit longer. Um, there's not an awful lot more I can tell you about the beer. It just tells you the usual kind of contains the uh, the malted barley, you know, for allergens. And it, what did I pay for it? Well, it was 180 in Tesco. Was it Tesco? Yeah, it was Tesco. Um, Tesco and Hanley uh, in uh, Stoke-on-Trent, as it happens. Not that that really matters, but that's where I got it from. And, yeah, let's crack it open and have a little taste, shall we? So, I do like just about everything I've had from Adnams in the past. Uh, I do miss living in Suffolk where everything was available in the pub on cask. Uh, but I haven't had this one. So, we're going to pour into the Worthington's glass. And the pour is pale, as expected. Got a lovely aroma already. There we are. So that's your beer. It is a, It is almost amber. I mean, it's not as dark as, say, uh, well, it's nowhere near as dark as Broadside or anything like that. Um, the head is slightly off-white. It is relatively consistent. And there's a there's a reasonable amount of carbonation going on. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can catch that on camera there, but that's your beer. It looks a little bit lighter in person, but then again, I've got lighting coming from all angles. And it looks good, crystal clear, uh, maybe a tiny touch of uh, fridge haze, but nothing more than that. Uh, the head's dissipating relatively quickly, but let's have a whiff. Oh, that's nice. It is very well balanced on the aroma. You've got initial hit of malt, and it's like a sweet crystal malt, and then the hops come through, and they're quite present, shall we say. Smells good, let's have a taste. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. The malt comes first, as with the aroma. Then the hops come, and there is a really, really pleasant bitterness going on. It's not smash you in the face bitter, but it's not so kind of low that you wish there was a bit more of it. It's there, and it works really, really well. Now, mm. when people say balanced beer... It can go really, really well, like this, or it can go really, really wrong, and you end up with something that uh, is so bland that you just, well, you might not, might as well be drinking water, you know. But this has got a bit of everything, and it's got them up at sensible levels, so it just works really, really well. There's a reasonable body for, for a for kind of pale amber ale. There is... There is that hop on the finish, and it lingers, and it's it's kind of weird. There's lots of hops, and then right at the end, there's a little sweet kick, and it's very very tasty. Mm. I could uh, thoroughly enjoy lots of these. It tastes fuller than you would expect a beer of this ABV to be. Uh, I would not expect something as low as 3.4 to have as much flavour. I mean, this has got flavour that probably knocking off to 4.5%, 5%, maybe more, of your traditional style ales. It's really, really good. Mm. And a very sensible ABV. Genuinely chuffed at this little find. Mm. Ah, Adnams. Lighthouse. 
you light up my evenings. It's uh, towards the end of November. It's dark, and uh, when these appear, you know that uh, you're not heading for rocky ground. You're heading for something really, really tasty. And I think it is uh, a very tasty beer. So would I, on that note, buy Lighthouse again? I would absolutely, unequivocally, yes, I would. Or would I rush out and buy it again? I would, and I'll tell you why. It's got everything I like. It's got hops, it's got malt flavours, it's got bitterness, it's got a sensible ABV, and it's very sensibly priced. You know, you can get four of these for six quid in Tesco. It's great. It's great. It's up there with some of the best bottled beers you can buy in Tesco. <laughs> Indeed, any supermarket, really. Um, it's very, very, very good beer. So what would I score it? Well, given that it ticks all my boxes, sensible price, lots of hops, good malt, balanced. <sighs> can, okay, can I find a reason not to give it five? I can't. Being truthful, I mean, I know people have said that my scoring is, is perhaps on the generous side, but there's, there's method to my scoring. If it's five, it ticks all my boxes. If it's four, it's really, really good, but maybe not quite perfect. Uh, if it's above three, but below four, I would definitely buy it again. Um, but it's not quite as good as really good. Anything less than three, between two and three, I wouldn't buy it again, but it's not bad enough to pour away. Uh, between one and two, it's like one of those that if you were given it free and you were thirsty and there was no water or anything else, I'd probably drink that. And if it's less than one, it's a drain pour. It might as well be battery acid. Um, that's it. So ticks all my boxes and it's great. Uh, so five out of five for Adam's Lighthouse. Lovely beer. So ladies and gents, boys and girls and uh, lighthouse keepers everywhere. This has been the beer. I've been Nick and I will see you again soon in another video. Bye.